What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle and the wonderful world of indie games. Happy to have you here today. My name is Splattercat. We're going to be playing some City Game Studio today. A game that I've been assured that if you really like Game Dev Tycoon, you'll probably like this game. So let's find out. Let's see if this one's worth wishlisting or checking out. You can get it right now on Steam in the description down below if you like the gameplay. Let's do it. So Splattercat, yeah that sounds fine. Our company name will be Black Sales. And then we've got to choose, we got number of competitors, difficulty is on easy, we'll put it on normal. Put it on normal game speed, we got an advanced start, oh my goodness. Starting year is 1976. It's 1976. I think we should probably go with RPGs. I don't think sim games were a thing quite yet in 1976. We'll specialize in RPGs. We'll choose our hairstyle over here, can I have like a beard or anything? Like... Where's my beard at? I'm trying to be a beardy dude. Oh, I like that shirt right there, though. I'd wear that shirt in real life. Yup, I'd wear that. That's like that's like my colors right there, those neutrals right there. Light gray, black, light tan. That's I rock with that right there. That's my neutrals right there, my newts. All right, let's go. The Department of Bad Sales is always right. Ready to relive the epic history of video games from the very beginning? Well, welcome to City Game Studio. Let's get started and create your first game. Creating a good game allows you to progress. Okay, cool. That's fine. Whatever. So we got to create a new game. All right. So here we are. Lost Business. That doesn't sound like a, a super awesome game. That sounds like a lame game. We're going to call this Quest for Vaughn. Because that's like all the RPGs from back in that name. Actually, we got to add like Quest for Vaughnock. There we go. Now it's going to sound better. People are going to be down with this. Okay. So, I think I just start and the time travel theme? No, let's not do a time travel theme. Time travel is cliche. Let's not do that. Let's do a cyberpunk RPG. Yeah. And then we've got to we've got to we've got to change the name around. We've got to we've got to have a different infiltration of Varnock Incorporated. There we go. So now it's a cyberpunk game. We had to change the title around a little bit. In fact, we could probably just go with Varnock Incorporated. There we go. I mean, we could, like, we could be funny about this. We could be tongue-in-cheek about this. We're gonna call this Brightwalk. There we go. Alright. So it cost me 800 bucks to make a game. Platform bot. Ulysses. You have unlocked a license for the Ulysses. It costs 500 bucks. Is that like a console? I assume it's a console. What is this right here? Announce the video game. It creates hype. Okay, my development costs were $2,000. It took us eight weeks. Everybody is the target audience. And so apparently we're releasing in September of 1972 to a 100% market share. Sounds good to me. All right, estimate the workload of every part of your game by adjusting the gauge. Oh. Okay, like, I'm not too worried about graphics. Let's focus pretty heavily on, like, gameplay and, like, characterization since it's an RPG. There we go. Let's do it. Do I need to sleep at some point? My character doesn't look that sleepy, but then again, he's been working for, like, two months straight. So, I would assume by this point, he's about scheduled for a nap. I don't know if I should announce the game or not. Do we start with $150,000? Why are we in game development, dude? We should just, like, become an investment broker or, like, a day trader or something if we got that much seed cash. Like, why are we messing around with game development? Hold up. I know the margins on game development. I, I know exactly what people get paid in the games development industry on indie titles. We're already severely hurting right now. Depending on what we're selling this game at, for your average indie game, you can expect, like, 400 to 1,100 sales nowadays. Like, we're going to have to price it pretty well if we want to make this happen. Talk to the press. Publish the demo. Yeah, we'll talk to the press real fast. We're going to build up some hype. Brightwalk has been announced. It's like Shadowrun, but different, okay? It's like Shadowrun, but slightly different. Are we almost done here? Can I speedy this up a little bit? It looks like we may have hit, like, an impasse. I don't see the meter going up anymore. Unless that meter is going down. I don't know. It could be either or. 
We already talked to the media. Dude, we haven't slept in three months. This guy has a way better work ethic than I do. All right. So development. And we can work on physics. We can work on the AI. We can work on the sound. I don't think physics matter a whole lot in an RPG. I'll be honest with you. Like, maybe we'll go with, like, some artificial intelligence over here. Some dope sound design. All right. Sounds good to me. Do I get another opportunity to, like, talk to the media and, like, launch something? Oh, we're adding development points now. Okay. We've spent, like, $6,000 on this game, though. That's a lot of money in 1970s money. As I recall, during this time period, there's, like, an oil embargo or something going on, and the... And the economy is just absolutely tanking. So, we probably don't want to be wasting this much money. We got to get this thing, like, mashed out. Got to get it done, man. Luckily, the development portion appears to be going very, very well. I don't know what function the little meters have. But, hopefully we did a good job. All right. So, we've got animation, optimization, and artwork. Let's dump a whole bunch of time into artwork. I'm down with that. We'll optimize the hell out of this thing so that it runs well because nobody likes a terrible frame rate. If it don't run at 60, it's literally unplayable. PC gamer life. Animations. I don't think we have to worry too much about animations, but we'll, like, bump that up. A oh, it just adds more time to your workflow? All right, well, let's do that then. I'm fine with this taking longer if it needs to. Yep, polish this thing up. Get this turd shining, my friend. Come on. This game is going to be dope. Bright Walk is going to be the new standard in cyberpunk RPGs. I'm trying to tell you right now. People don't understand. It's about to be off the chain. Bright Walk, we're going to be out here just like competing with harebrained schemes. Alright. So we've got a cyberpunk RPG targeted at everybody. we got to choose our price point. What does that do? Oh, I don't want to do that. That randomizes the name. No. There we go. Uh, we can do a game report. It recommends $10. Why not? Let's see what happens. Congratulations. You've made your first game. You can now proceed to a post-mortem in order to help you evaluate its development design and polish. Okay. So we're doing a post-mortem right now while we're waiting to see if the game sells, possibly. Or do we actually, like, sell the game after the post-mortem? I don't know. Alright, so Spiceless. An interesting concept that has been spoiled by randomness. Humble, but interesting. Hey, man, don't say mean things about my game. These reviews hurt my feelings. Fun, but shallow. So the physics and the animation are good, but it needed more AI, more design, and more sound, I guess. Is it going to sell, though? That's the part that concerns me. I'm going to take a little sleepy break right now, a little sleepy nap time break. Postmortem. We already did the postmortem. Sleepy nap time break is taking place. Uh, have we sold zero copies? This concerns me. Why have we sold zero copies? Maybe it sells like at the end of the month. I hope. All right. Well, we're fully rested now. So maybe we'll plan like another game. There's money. We have one fan. Aw, yeah. And we made all of our money back, too. That's pretty sweet. I don't know how long that's going to last, though, so we should probably make a new game. Uh, let's go with... What's trending right now? Archaeology is trending. Like, what's, what's popping right now? That's at a minus one. Organized crime. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to make an organized crime RPG. I don't know what we want to name it, though. I don't know. We'll just go with something simple. We'll just call it, like, Omerta. There we go. So 
so apparently we're designing the game right now. Uh, yeah, get the characters and, like, the gameplay good and, like, the graphics good. Just spend lots of time on it. We're making money on our last game, so we can afford to spend some extra time in the trenches right now. Like, we are bleeding ever so slightly. So we made $42,000 off of our last game so far. All right, that's fine. We're going to announce the game. I'm not going to publish a demo. Like, I can't afford to do that. I'm too poor, all right? I'm officially too poor to do that, so we're not going to do that, but maybe someday. I mean, we're still making a little bit of money, so yeah, I don't feel too bad about spending a bunch of time working on this. All right, so physics, we're going to bump that up to like right there. The AI, we're going to bump that on up. Sound design, we're going to bump that on up. Looks good. I don't know if that's like the highest I can take it with the next game. We'll try it out, and we'll see if we can push those metrics up a little bit higher. Like if we can go into the gray area, maybe. Yep, spend all your time. Optimize, optimize, optimize. Oh, it makes your workload too high, so you probably burn out faster. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you're going to need like multiple employees to really get this done the way you want to get it done. There we go. Okay, makes sense. I mean, we'll do it. My workload will be a little bit higher, but yeah, you can see right there, he's burning out a little bit. He's getting a little bit crispy. Uh, so, Brightwalk, at $10, we sold 9,000 units. That's actually pretty good, dude. Like, if an indie game sells 10,000 units nowadays, that's not, like, terrible. That's not bad at all. Like, 10,000 units is, like... I, I went in, because I was looking into... I wanted to start a game publishing thing, like, a year ago. Like, I was thinking about starting, like, my own kind of incubator or whatever. And I started running sales numbers from all my friends that actually make games. Like, how many they sold of their game. And I was pretty surprised with some of the games that I thought were really popular. Like, actually, how few copies they actually sold. Game development is more vicious than I thought it was. Yeah, let's go ahead and release. We'll do our post-mortem. Uh, you go ahead and get some rest, bud. Simple but interesting. A simplistic but redundant game. Well, we got better reviews this time around. So they wanted better physics, better sound, and better design. All right. Cool, man. We'll, like, take a one-month vacation or something to get your energy levels back up. And we'll refill the company coffers. Uh, so we've got wage increases. So post-mortem, what does the wage increase do? Oh, I pay myself more money. Okay. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Uh, hey, Splattercat, I know how much you love my email, so here we are so we can observe good sales. I did some calculations today. We're going to talk about the sales of Omerta. It is expected that Omerta will increase by 10%. Good. We've got $43,000. It's already selling better than our last title. What else do we have going on that's, like, trending? We've got transportation. Organized crime is trending downwards. We've got mythology, which is trending upwards. We've got kaiju, which is trending strongly upwards. Let's go for that. New IP. Uh, yeah, it's a new IP. We'll call it Chinese Lawnmower. Well, I mean, that's too humorous to not... We're not going to change that. It's called Chinese Lawnmower. I mean, I doubt that I'm going to come up with a better name. Just me personally. Like, I have a, I have a strong inclination that I'm not going to come up with a better name. Alright, so we'll go to there. Uh, we can keep the workload kind of high. I don't think characters matter much in a game like this. There we go. So we'll get that moving. So participate in a convention. And then we've got buying furniture. So we've got to make more money in order to buy furniture. Because we are like working out of a dungeon basement right now. I could try publishing a demo. That might backfire on me though. Let's just talk to the press. We'll see how much love we can generate. What is that right there? A virus unleashed? A new virus has been unleashed. It only targets video game companies. It seems odd, but it slows down cursors and randomly reboots computers. This will have an effect on the productivity of your employees. Only home is being attacked. Aw, oh, lame, dude. Super lame. Oh, there's like an entire world map. Hello, world map. How you doing? Everything going well over here? Alright, 
So we've got 4K games. We've got Snowstorm Entertainment. We've got Rustin. And we've got... Can't see what that says. East Forest Studios. And then we've got Tamcom. That apparently we are competing with right now. Damn it, Tamcom. Damn it. I mean, we're still making money off of Omerda. So that's not too bad. Let's see here. I did some calculations. We're going to talk about sales. We've got an 11% increase in sales. Nice. We've got the Watagi 2600 that is going to last for years. Yeah, a lot of people say that about their consoles. I mean, everybody remember the Atari Jaguar? That was supposed to last forever. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. It didn't. We're almost done with Chinese lawnmower right now, which I feel is going to revolutionize the gaming industry. I think it's going to change things. All right, so development cost. Uh, physics are going to be bad, which is unfortunate. Let's take physics up to 50%. Artificial intelligence up to like 50%. And then sound design, we'll take that up too. Then how much leeway do I have? Add a little bit more right there. We're making money. I mean, our sales have leveled off, so that's a good thing. Like, our last game went up and then instantaneously down. This one has leveled. So we're at least making a little bit of money. Not a lot, but it's something to keep us in the biz. Yep, just continue. Continue making the game awesome. I believe in you. You are strong. Heartache to heartache, you stand. No promises, no demands. Alright, it's time for that late game crunch. Let's do it. So, Omerta did pretty well. We sold 15,000 units. That's up by 6,000 compared to our last game. Not bad. So, it earned 113,000 after a 10... <laughs> I wish I had that kind of investment in my life. Oh, maybe you want to plan your hype for right before release because it looks like it falls off. Okay. Maybe we're taking too long. Uh, we'll lower the price on it a little bit. And we'll sell it for like eight bucks. Oh, my game was unstimulating. So they wanted more sound and more design. Well, I tried. All right, take a one month break while we wait for our sales to come through. Next game. What's popping right now? Cyberpunk is trending again? Well, sounds like we're making Brightwalk 2. That's what it sounds like to me. What is that right there? An excellent match? Oh, good. Okay. Cool, man. Brightwalk 2. It's coming to a town near you. I wonder if I level up or like get better at my job as we go about this. I'd like to buy like a new PC or something to make my work more effective and maybe like ease up on my workload. Right, we're gonna go lots of characters, lots of gameplay, lots of graphics. Yeah, let's kill it. Let's absolutely murder this thing. Is it gonna take us a while to get this done? Yes it is, but we have cash flow right now. So why panic? Platform release the Watagi 2600. Can I buy that somewhere? Like, if I wanted to develop for the Watagi? Auto upgrade computers, auto assign, this studio, company wide. When can I get a license for Watagi? Mm hmm. It's a valid curiosity on my part. Dude, we have so much design in this game. It's looking so good. 26 design. All right. So we need better sound design. They've always been kind of bitchy about our sound design. Yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. Brightwalk has to be Brightwalk 2. We're living up to expectations right now. It's got to be like amazing. I don't think that Chinese lawnmower sold very well. All right, so we can have more animation, which I think is a good idea because they're always complaining about my animation. 
And they're always complaining about my artwork. So there we go. It's going to be poorly optimized this time around. Let's talk to the press. Let's do it. We're going to build up some hype. I mean, it's done. We pushed it up a little higher this time. Oh, nobody has the Ulysses anymore? So your game catalog is worth being seen. Participating in conventions will help you improve your visibility. Okay, well you go on a vacation then, bro, for a little bit. And then we've got Gemcon 11, my stand size. Oh wow, I can go like nutty boy. like 17 G's yeah let's do it so it's in September of 1978 so we have a couple months to really get used to that thing humble but interesting oh man lame dude our second game sucked too but at least it's trending all right so we are pleased to announce GemCon 11, scheduled for September of 1978. The convention will last three days, and we are waiting for 1,752 visitors. Okay. Chinese lawnmower is apparently doing something. Let's see here. What we've learned from Brightwalk 2. Optimization is insignificant for RPGs. Okay. Animation is relatively important, and artwork is insignificant as well. All right. Get my energy level back up here. All right, we're all energized. And we got to make a new game. What's trending right now? Hunting games are apparently trending. How do I get the new How do I get the How do I get the new console? Our market share is dying right now. It's dying horribly. Like how do I get the new console? That's what I want. Like, deep down, I want the new console. How do I buy that? Parameter and options. Well, that's not helpful. That's not what I'm looking for. Apparently, I in some way just auto-upgraded my computer. Oh, we're playing Pong now. Lovely. Well, I mean, fantasy RPGs are trending right now. So we might as well mush out one of those while we're here. It's called Terrible Guitar. Telekinetic Blimp. Supreme Bingo. I think I'm gonna stick with Quest for Nope, not Fripper. Quest for Varnock. There we go. We we started with that, so now we're gonna finish with that. I guess do it. Our market share is pretty terrible right now though. Yeah, our character doesn't seem very enthusiastic about what he's doing. So let's go with lots of characters, lots of gameplay, lots of graphics. Let's do... Oh, there it is. There it is. Let me see them bonuses. Let me see them bonuses go out. I believe. So we've got the Ulysses 2. Magma Box will release the Ulysses 2. It should last for years. I mean, as long as we're making money. Ooh, our design is better than ever. We have time... To do a stylish office redecoration. Okay. What can I get? I can get a red armchair. I've also got a weed bookshelf. Oh, a wood bookshelf. Gotcha. So I can, like, add more of this. I can rotate it like so. Where is the door to my office? Fair question. What else can I have? A dark metal desk. I can also have a whiteboard. Do I sell my old desk? Like, how do I get rid of my old desk so that I can get the new desk? That's more baller than the previous desk. Oh, I can move the trash can around. Yeah, put the trash can over there. It's in an illogical spot right now. I don't understand why it would be where it is. There we go. Lots of reference books. But do 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 do. Alright, so with our fantasy RPG, I forget what they said was relevant for RPGs. So I'm going to go with lots of sound design. And then, like, I don't think that the AI was important. 
I feel like they weirdly cared. I did feel like they weirdly cared about... What are we doing right now? We're doing development? Alright. I don't think it's going very well. I don't see us getting a lot of points. Uh, we'll go with Bright Walk. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what that did for us. I don't need the sales report, though. The sales report is unimportant to me. We'll deal with that later. Can I put this in over here? I can. Yeah, red armchair. Make me happy. Fill me with the power of your happiness. And we'll, like, publish a demo, I guess, maybe? I can hire staff once I get to a million dollars spent. Man, I'm spending all kinds of money out here. It's been kind of nuts. They said animation isn't that important and optimization isn't that important. We'll take that up to like there. And then we'll leave the artwork and the animation where they're at since it said those weren't important. Hopefully we time the hype right here. I feel like this game's going to get panned. We don't have a whole lot of polish. It's not looking good right now. Let's maybe like cut the price a little bit just to like let people know that it's kind of like it's not that great. Sobriety. Oh, wow. We killed it. We killed it, bro. We killed it so hard. Superb aesthetic flawed mechanisms. Okay. Take a break, brother. Take a break. You're looking a little sleepy right now. Ah, paycheck is what made him happy. I saw that. I saw that. That paycheck came through and he was like, yee! Like, you send me $90,000, I'll smile too. I'll be like, yee! $90,000! Uh, so apparently in this game, as you get further in, you can actually like have multiple studios that you own that are working on different projects. You can hire staff and do all kinds of fun stuff like that. And so like, honestly, we're not really that far in right now. But it's like any other development tycoon game. I am having fun with it. So I'll see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. If you don't know who I am or what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming every single day so that you don't have to. It's a city game studio. I've got a link for you down below if you want to buy it. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh.